Current events, ladies and gentlemen, it is, uh, let's see, uh, September the 7th, 2019. I am home today, thank God, I'm not working. And I would like to give some kudos to several idiot moron um, Democrats who have finally came out and flat out told you they're going to do a mandatory buyback. And others, uh, such as uh, one lady up in uh, Illinois, threatened her constituents that she would just come and take their damn guns. The, the, they think they have had brain damage, um, probably from a, an aborted abortion. When her mama shoved a clothes hanger up that thing and tried to kill them way back in the day. And their brains is damaged that they think they have the authority and the right to uh, just decide which rights they're going to obey and not obey. Ladies and gentlemen, the whole damn purpose of the Bill of Rights is to <coughs> prevent government from doing to you what the British were doing to us before we declared our independence, fought a nasty freaking war, and whooped the snot out of them and told them get the hell off our damn property. Let me read something to y'all, ladies and gentlemen, and if you don't happen to have these documents, a copy of these documents, then you're a damn fool and you need to do something about that in the very near future. I have a copy of the United States um, Constitution right here. I uh, printed this baby off October the 23rd, 2012. I also have a copy October the 23rd, 2012 of the Bill of Rights that I printed from the U.S. Archives. United States, uh, www.archives.gov. Before I read... Anything else, I want to read this to you, and I want you to pay close attention to the words that I really enunciate and really uh, emphasize here, okay? When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands for which, which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to that to the separation. Here we go now. Y'all listen real good. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just power from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate the governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes and accordingly all experience hath sh shown it, it was actually pronounced uh, shoon is how they originally had it spelled but shown that some that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evil, evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed but when a long train of abuses and in usurpations pursuing invariably the same object invents a design to produce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. 
such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies, and such is now the necessity which constrains them to alter their former systems of government. The history of the present king, blah, blah, blah. We don't even have to worry, go into all that. Let's go back to the beginning of the second paragraph. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. That they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Here's the Bill of Rights, ladies and gentlemen. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. That they are endowed by their creator with certain, certain unalienable rights. Nowhere in this... De the the um, Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, or in the Constitution, does it say crap about the government giving you a damn thing? What it says is that God granted you these unalienable rights, not government. Now, I understand to a degree you have to regulate rights. With great power become, comes re great responsibility, and so does with certain rights. Us law-abiding citizens, we go through all the crap to get our concealed carry permit, to to do the background checks, to purchase our legal our firearms legally and our ammunition, and pay all these damn ridiculous taxes. We're jumping through all these damn hoops. Yet they continue want to take. And now these lying-ass Democrats have started telling the truth. No, we're just going to take them. We're going to make it a mandatory buyback. No. No. You cannot take what you did not grant. You cannot abolish that which protects us from you to start with, you dumb bastards. It has nothing to do with sports. It has nothing to do with hunting. It has everything to do with security of our nation against foreign invaders and our own damn government and some some bitch trying to take our life or our wallet or any other thing on the damn street or in our own home. It's about security. He ain't got a damn thing to do with hunting. We are human beings. We smart enough to be able to kill an animal without a damn gun. Fire, fire makes it a lot smart, a lot easier. The entire purpose of the Second Amendment. It's all about defending our rights against you, government. To give our people, us the people, I should say, the same parity in small arms as you some bitches have. And before you say, oh, do you couldn't stand up to the U.S. government, then answer this one simple damn question. Why haven't we completely, utterly stopped the Taliban in Afghanistan? Until you, they ex, either you A, exterminate every last one, or B, until they decide for themselves they are beaten. There's, you, you haven't beaten any damn body. You have not hurt any damn one. All that awesome power is nothing next to the will to fight, the human will to fight. I look at some of the books I got up here on this bookshelf right here. You see the one right in the center? Let's, let's center it up exactly. They did not break us on September 11th. They could not break us after Pearl Harbor. But we could not break them unless we almost annihilated their entire peoples. I mean, it, that was literally what it was. They did not give up until they knew they were beaten. Some of them never gave up. One fella in the Philippines resisted and fought back for 30 years before he was talked into surrendering by the emperor of Japan. 30 years. The only reason the South surrendered when they did it is because Lee said, okay, you got to surrender. You have to. 
there's nothing else left to fight with. And because they loved and trusted him that much, they surrendered. But we're talking about the entire country. Even Democrats, registered Democrats, home firearms, they're not going to give them up because if they do, the same sun gun they call on Hitler and Trump, I mean, are you kidding me? You're going to tell us we have a tyrant in chief and now you want us to disarm. You go to hell. I said earlier in my Dear Walmart video, I'm going to start investing in rope companies. And I'm not kidding. Because we're going to need a lot of it. When we trial you in a, by a jury of your peers and hang you by the damn neck until dead. I mean, ammunition costs money. Damn rope's pretty cheap. You can use it over and over and over and over and over again. All else fails, I got a wood chipper right out there in the shop. The point of the Bill of Rights, ladies and gentlemen, and the Constitution is to the Constitution is to organize how the government's going to work, but it also dictates to government what they can do and cannot do against us, the people. And I'm telling you flat out, no, hell no, I'm not going to comply. I'm not selling you shit, and I'm not going to just give it up. I'm not speaking simply as an individual here. And no, I'm not part of some big damn militia group or a bunch of yahoos. I'm telling you what the majority of firearm-owning patriotic Americans feel. If you take our guns, then what will stop you from taking our life when we won't go along with your bullshit like Obamacare? Shove that down our throat. I never, I never got insurance. Fuck you. You're not going to force me to do that. destroyed insurance destroyed it still it is still so screwed up i don't have it whatever the company provides if i'm hurt it hurt at work that's fine but as far as buying anymore it's so screwed up right now i would pay so much in premiums every month and then i'd have to spend so damn much to just get it to where it would start paying me but paying for something now I'm not going to do it. And every American out there should drop that shit tomorrow. They would change like that. It's all about market forces. And you bastards in Washington, it's all about us, the voters. Trump got in there because he said what a lot of people wanted to hear. And he has done a damn good job in so many ways. And if he just don't screw up on the Second Amendment, he'll be re-voted right in just like that. You Democrats have got no damn prayer in hell of getting anybody's vote who is Second Amendment supporter or a someone who supports the Bill of Rights as a whole. You got no problem. I mean, no hope at all. You're trying to give the entire country away. You are trying to buy votes by giving everybody free crap. And all Trump's like, well, we're going to cut off the flow of illegals so we can stop giving all our free, all our hard-earned money to these bastards who ain't doing nothing to earn it. Now, I'm not saying that Mexicans and, and folks from south of the border are not hardworking people. I have worked with some of them who were friggin' awesome people. But if you're not contributing to the society you're living in, but you're using the benefits that should be benefiting the people who actually put it in there, you drag on society. Just like the people on welfare who are perpetually having children so they can make more and more money off the damn situation. And y'all can y'all can complain all you want. I lived it. I saw it growing up. I see it every damn day. And us working people, we're sick of it. There's more you bastards taking out of the system than there are people putting into the system. So our damn taxes just eat us up. Man, they just come up with more and more crap. And when you can't, when they can't pass a law, what they do is find something else they can hammer you on so you have to pay a fine, such as speeding tickets. I mean, think about this, ladies and gentlemen. Police officers have a quota system. Regardless of what any of them will tell you, why do they enforce it? So little during the middle of the month, but at the very beginning, at the end of each month, they hammering us left and right, finding anything to, to pull you over to write you a ticket for. How do you think they get all them new damn cruisers and, the, and the, the, their uniforms and their guns? And those judges, they bunch of corrupt bastards. If it had anything to do with safety, you could never just pay the fine and it fall off your record. It would automatically go on your record. It ain't got nothing to do with safety. It's all about control and how to rob you at gunpoint. 
Anywho, I've complained enough. It is 15 minutes of me whining and stating facts. This is like the rattlesnake on the Gadsden flag. That's rattle. You can ignore it if you want, and when you step on us, we're going to bite the hell out of you and you're going to die. You've been warned. Listen or not, hey, hey, that's all on you, baby. If you damn dumb, I hope you're tough. Ladies and gentlemen, Mac Daddy 1911 May 1 with the Shade Tree Survivalists from North Georgia saying thank you very much for watching. Don't vote for these bastards because you will lead us into a revolutionary war part two. And I'll just flat out tell you, I will not ask for any quarter and I damn sure will not grant any. Thank you very much.